Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be for the sign of Gemini. The topic of the reading is, will they ever commit to you? Wherever it is that you're dealing with, you really want this connection to be cemented and you really want commitment from them, you want to get married to them. You really wonder, will they ever give you the commitment that you desire which leads towards marriage or not? This reading will help you know that. I will be adding um, oracle guidance for you in the given situation as well in this reading. So stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonates and lead the rest. For person reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's dive into the read and let's see. Will they ever give you the commitment? Yes or no? We have five of swords, the death, devil, magician, king of cups, page of wands, the wheel of fortune, the ten of wands. There's a lot of mess here in this connection, trust me on that. You know, there are more forces that are playing a part here than you know. Um, you know, it's it seems like, you know, um, you know, for some of you, probably you are unaware of what, what else or who else is influencing the connection. Um, for some of you, probably you feel that your family is the reason. Maybe they themselves are the reason or vice versa. So there is a lot of uh, things which are working against the connection right now. Um, even though the connection seems to be very uh, strong, but at the same time, a lot has to change. I feel like, you know, there is a lot of uh, fight that has to happen here in this connection. If you really want this connection to go next level, somebody has to fight for it. Either you, your person. Um, and I feel like, you know, until and unless that fight happens, nothing is going to go. Uh, in the favor of this connection and I feel like you know somebody has to take solid steps here so if we talk about you know them giving you the commitment I feel like you know they do have love that's for sure they do feel for you a lot uh, on a deeper level but are they taking the right actions I really don't see that uh, so for majority of you probably like you know um, if they take right steps ahead this connection can go next level right now they are not choosing to take those actions towards you towards a connection they do love you but at the same time they are not taking action here whether they tell you that they, their family is the reason whether they tell you third party is the reason whether they tell you whatever is the reason they themselves are the reason for majority of you i really feel like you know if they want it now they can make it happen now so if they are saying that no i cannot make it happen i have to you know, uh, handle the situation so and so way. Trust me, this person is not um, being truthful to themselves even because I feel like, you know, they feel that, you know, I feel like, you know, the circumstances are definitely messed up. That's for sure. But at the same time, they can make things work out. They think through things, they handle the situation, they can work it out. But what they want is nothing as in uh, they don't want to work towards it. They don't want to take action towards it. They don't want to deal with the stress that might come along with it. So that is one thing which stops this person from taking action towards you. They feel that or they fear that, um, you know, if they want to make things happen, if they want to commit to you, they will have to deal with a lot of pressure, a lot of stuff going on, uh, which, which they need to deal with. And they really don't want that right now. So they are kind of like running away from, you know, dealing with that stress uh, that might come along for them which is the reason they are not taking action here. And I feel like, you know, they act immature as well because they don't understand the sensitivity of the matter here, which is the reason why your love life is not getting where you want it to go. So I feel like, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, if they could act mature, if they could handle the situation better, yes, things can be worked out now as well. But I really feel like, you know, your person is not somebody who is uh, who's doing the right thing here. To be very honest, I feel like you know they are coming across as somebody who's very immature, which is going to do one thing only in the connection, and that is add toxicity in your life. Because I feel like you know um, the way they are delaying uh, taking action is just gonna 
stop influencing your relationship with this person in a negative way um where you're gonna start feeling that you know you you you, you are gonna stop losing hope in this connection then uh because of the way they are not like you know taking action or being uh you know um uh, being the one who who can um take the lead in the situation i feel like you know your person is right now I really don't see them taking uh, this connection seriously right now. And I really feel like, you know, they are still not going to take action. They they are going to avoid the, the trouble that they see coming with it. So they would not commit to you anytime soon. If you are waiting for them, if you are hoping for them to commit to you, I feel like, you know, this is just um, uh, way too high expectations from this person right now. They are not going to do anything. But... I feel like, you know, for some of you, maybe that might work. You can try it for yourself if you want to. But I feel like, you know, if, if you could detach yourself from this person, because they do love you, that's for sure. But at the same time, they, like I said earlier, they act immaturing. You know, they are acting immature here. And I feel like, you know, if, if, uh, if, if they understand the sensitivity of the matter, probably they are going to take this, uh, you know, the decision that they're holding back from right now. Um, that can fix everything in this connection um, or if if you don't want to you know do that you can you know you can detach yourself and if you don't want to do that you can manifest your person taking action here by using affirmations using visualizations using imagination um, but again it's it's something which is going to still take time because probably for a majority of you you have been in the stagnant situation with this person for quite some time and having some movement coming in this connection and the situation is going to be hard. So I feel like, you know, this, this connection is going to start adding more toxicity in your life because you love them, they love you. But at the same time, probably you feel that um, when you can take action, why cannot they? And, you know, the way they are holding back from this connection, I feel like, you know, only you can do two things. Either you hold back from this person until and as they take action, don't settle in for less, one thing. Second, you can manifest what you desire by sticking around this person in the given situation too. So either way, you are going to be able to manifest what you desire quicker. But I feel like, you know, um, if you allow this person to be the way they are, nothing is going to work out. And if you continue dealing with this person the way things are and without um, trying to manifest things, it's still going to stay the same. So if you really want some movement coming in, you have to do something or the other to make things work. Um, I mean, the deck we do have nine of pentacles. I feel like in a majority of you, probably time apart can give you more better results as compared to anything else. But since it's a general read, you can always purchase a personal one before you choose to make a decision of your love life uh, in, in this situation. So let's see some miracle guidance. Let's see what the fairy message is for you. What is the fairy message for you? What is the fairy message for you? What the fairies really want you to know right now? Let's take two cards. Okay, three wants to come up. Let's see. Oh, so the fairy message is find balance. Find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Now, for some of you, probably you are obsessing over this person and the future that you desire with this person. If you could find balance in your life by uh, not giving so much of your energy to this person or the current situation or the future, probably you will feel like, uh, you know, there is more harmony in the connection. You will feel like probably there is more... Um, to what you can still work out in this connection. I feel like, you know, finding a balance is the best way to deal with certain stressful situations that you deal with. So if you want, you can do that um, by keeping yourself busy doing other things and keeping yourself positive around the future can also help you. So try doing that. Let's see more cards here. Protection. The fairies of protections are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. I feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to protect yourself and your connection by um, the help of heavy, um, uh, by the help of uh, heavenly, um, by the heavenly help. Um, seek guidance and protection from the heavens around your love life or this person. And um, especially when you try to kind of like, you know, embark on any psychic work when it comes to this connection, like, you know, where you try to manifest something or you try to meditate around it. Make sure that you seek um, 
um, protection from the heavens. Journey. It's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, you make sure that you're ready when the time comes. Pack your passport now. I feel like, you know, for some of you, probably traveling can help you uh, release the stress that you're taking. And it also can pressurize your person to take action um, the right way forward where you don't, you, you are not, you know, directly asking this person to give into the connection. But that is going to make this person understand the sensitivity of the matter as well. So you can try doing that for yourself as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.